Hello everyone, and welcome to the Rebooted Reviews. Today I'll be going over set number 707, 89, Onua, Master of Earth. This set contains 108 pieces. Onua has a very consistent color scheme, consisting of, of black, silver, purple, and gold, and he pulls it off quite nicely. Uh, the only breaks are the yellow gear, uh, the random blue pins, in his, or not blue pins, red pins, in the gearbox, and on his hammer, and in the side of his head, but other than that, pulls it off pretty well. The sticker on his chest plate helps tie the colors together quite well since it contains all of them, well, except for silver. Wonderful color scheme, pulls it off pretty well. The golden mask doesn't really conflict, but we'll get to that later. Now, this set also contains a number of recolors and new molds. So let's start off with the recolors. First off, we have four of these purple four-length shells slash armor pieces in Onapu purple, as the Bionicle community calls it. Now, the set also has two of these bone pieces in trans purple. It's very nice. I really like this almost as much as the trans blue pieces on Matoro. Okay, so, last two recolors are the Ben 10 Humongosaur foot in silver. Now, I'm fairly certain this is a recolor, but it might have been featured in Invasion from Below, but I got barely any of those sets. So I'm fairly certain that this is a new color for this piece. Um, now, this, it's black. Now, the set also has stickers. And the stickers are, of course, completely new and unique to the set. And they're very lovely, and they, uh, they look wonderful. Very tribal. Okay, so, moving on to more new pieces. Um, so, four of these pieces in gold. Very nice. For some reason, the ones in Onua's set seem more bronzy to me than the ones on Tahu. I don't know why. It's kind of funny how that works, but hey. Now I got four of these skull spider legs in gunmetal, because there's really no other color that they come in. Skull spider body slash mask. Um, it comes in spring green, I believe it's called. It's kind of glow in the dark green almost. Now. There's also the new head and eye stock in silver, and neon yellowish green, I believe the color is. Some of my favorite pieces in this set are these four pieces. And these are his shoulder pads slash turbo shoveler slash hammer pieces. They kind of fit together like this, and it's a nice nod to Toe uh, Metru Winua from 2004, and these pin pieces in there are not actually part of the shoulder pads, slash, yeah, they come like this, but to have you put these in here, I don't get why they do it on the hammer, probably just to fill up the holes, but on the shoulder pads, it's for the combiner. The final two new pieces is the Mask of Earth and the Golden Mask of Earth, in black, and of course, gold. Gold Mask is a very convenient because in 2002 you had to hunt down the Toa's Golden Ma golden Kanohi in Mask Packs and it was just all luck. It was very hard to do. So that covers it for the new molds. Let's go back to Onua. And we are back with Onua. Now. Aside from the color scheme glitches, here are a few good things and bad things 
pros and cons, if you will, about Onua's build. Onua is very solid. Despite his wide torso, he holds up pretty well, especially because he uses the wide feet. Um, not a whole lot of complaints about his build. Only other complaint you could really have is the emptiness of his torso if you look at him from certain angles at his back and the back of his legs being exposed, but uh, not not a whole lot wrong with Onua. I like him. He's one of my favorites. So, might as well move on to Onua's functions. The first of which is if you turn this gear, his arms swing. Now, regarding his gearbox, I, I failed to go over this in a lot of the Toa's reviews, but um, the friction in, in his gearbox is afforded by um, this bit right here. You see there's a ball joint right here and there's a socket that it connects there so there's a lot of friction but I've used his gear function so much that almost, almost all of that friction is gone unless I move his arms at unusual angles. Now the shoulder pads do get in the way sometimes but they're on uh, ball joints so you can move them around. They're not too big of an issue. Speaking of ball joints and articulation, Onua has multiple points of it. He can move his ankles, his knees, his hips, his wrists, his elbows, his shoulders. And if you consider the gearbox articulation, that counts as well. He also has two in his neck. And two in his shoulder pads. Well, actually, two each in his shoulder pads, because there's another thing underneath here. Oops. Underneath the chest plate. See? Yeah. There we go. Now i got to go retrieve his mask of Earth. Speaking of his masks, something to note about his masks is that they're even looser than Pohatu's masks. It might just be mine, since a lot of reviewers haven't complained about this. But, it's even looser than Pohatu's. It's pretty bad. Speaking of the mask on function, if you hit the ice stock, his mask will fly off and land on your toe. Allowing that pesky little skull spider to attach to his face. But, given that Onua has an extra joint in his neck, the skull spider can actually... Hold on, I gotta decapitate Onua to do this. Wrap its legs completely around his head because of the extra room afforded by that extra joint. And this is pretty menacing. Given Onua's awesome broad shoulders and just his awesome build overall, put a skull spider on his face and he looks very menacing. Even more menacing than a skull spider Tahu. Now, of course, someone can always come along and rescue Onua. Although, Onua will most likely rescue Liwa first. Uh, now, if Onua were to claim his golden mask of power, he still looks good because the gold is very well distributed. Or distributed. Not distributed. My pronunciation is off. I apologize. Still looks awesome. Now, his golden mask, in addition to unlocking his full elemental abilities, because apparently this one didn't really do anything. It's probably like Turaga level elemental power. Um, this mask unlocks his adrenaline modes. So first thing you're going to want to do is take away his turbo shovelers, which look awesome. And take this little part off his back. Uh, 
out. Put the turbo shove layers together, like so. Like I said, nice nod to Winnie Metro. Put them on the hammer, like so. Then you attach the rest to this part of his hand. And he is now Thor. So this hammer is one of the most awesome weapons I've ever seen. It's probably right up there with Tahu's shield. Um, basically all of the 2015 weapons, pretty much, of the Toa's weapons. They all look awesome. But, you know, it's hard to choose a favorite. And this hammer, you know, especially with the gear function, just go. Bam! If the shoulder pad doesn't catch first. Bam! Okay, I love this gear function too much. I can't stop. It's actually, pretty much it. I really hope I'm not forgetting something. Um, but. What do you guys think? Is Onua your favorite Toa? Is it Tahu? Is it Kopaka? Is it Gali? Is it Pohatsu? Is it Liwa? What do you think of the Toa's new masks? Do they look spiffy? Or does Liwa's mask that barely resemble Olimiru really dumb, just like its predecessor? I am going to turn these questions over to you in the comments section. So I will thank now I will thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, as I said, share, subscribe, D dislike if you want. That's fine. Just state the reason for your dislike. Um, if you liked it, state the reason for your like, cause, because constructive criticism is always welcome. And I will see you when I review his protector counterpart. The Protector of Earth. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.